running an experiment. I bought this mount. I haven't stuck it because I really don't want to stick stuff to my brand new car. So I'm going to see if it will like stay. <laughs> I don't think it will. I don't think the phone is heavy enough. I might have to return this and just pay for the uh, weighted um, the weighted phone mount, which is, I'm pretty sure weighted with bean bags or something, but <clears throat> anyway, we are on our way. Today I've been taking down the main tree because Thursday I have people coming over for something you will see in the future. Um, however, I ordered a phone case and I don't know why I ordered an iPhone 14 Pro Max case because I don't have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe the commercial for the stupid iPhone 14 was on when I was ordering it and it was in my head. I don't know. But anyway, I'm on my way to Kohl's to return that. But before I do that, I need to go drop off the rent check. I don't know why I'm sitting here. I have you guys on a mount now, so I should be able to just go, right? Anyway, there's something going on that way. Crap. And it looks like people are still able to get back. Bye. But, um, here's the test, guys. Oh, you move a little. You moved, you moved a little. That's not, that's not bad. Anyway, so I gotta go drop off the rent check first because it's the rent is due today and then um i'm gonna stop by Publix or i might go to Kohl's first Publix second i don't know either way i gotta go to Publix and get bread i was gonna go to Walmart but i don't know if they have the bread i need i think i'm gonna try to get to the landlords without gps because to do GPS, I have to plug in CarPlay, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear me on CarPlay. Let's see. We're going to test it. I'm coming up to a red light, so I'm going to play go in. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see. All right. We're connecting to CarPlay. You're still going. And I don't know if you can hear me at this point, but we'll see. And maps. And categories. It's running really slow with y'all. When it comes to directions, Wave is kind of like a genie in a bottle, right? Okay, let's go. Yeah, I have Christine Aguilar as my person. Come on. I don't even know where it's taking me. Nope. Wherever it's taking me is not where I'm going. Alright. It's running really slow. Like Hold on. Begin. I hate I hate people like those construction guys were like saying something. I don't know what they were saying. Anyway. Oh my husband. Every time he drives the car he moves everything and why is there handprints on the back of the window? That's creepy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we're doing an experiment, so if you can't hear me, then everything I'm about to say is going to be null and void. So, I know I can't play the radio and you guys at the same time, um, like the Spotify, um, it will shut you guys off, but, uh, so far the map seems to be working, so we shall see. <sighs> I have been sick. I'm starting to get a little bit more life back in me. I should have grabbed. I'll do it on Wednesday when I, um, go get cat food. I need to get, I need to... I don't know if I'm going to color my hair. I'm debating, guys, if I should grow my hair out, like, grow the color out. Or 
more stable blonde. I don't know. I really like my blonde hair. In one mile, turn left. Okay. So, um, anyway, I need to go to Publix to get bread. I was gonna go to the Walmart market, but they, I don't know if they have the fresh baked bread and I really want to get like a, a soup bread, like a baguette or something, because I'm gonna make the potato soup tonight. Well, heat up the potato soup tonight because it, we bought uh, the pre-made loaded potato soup at Sam's Club. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I did. I don't know if Walmart Market. I know regular Walmart has fresh baked bread. Well, fresh baked is subjective because who knows if they actually make it at Walmart anymore. They used to, but for all we know, it's all shipped in now. Maybe you moved a little bit when I hit the gas pedal, but um, I got this because. You know, sometimes I like to talk to you guys while I'm driving, and this makes it a little bit easier. Uh, not this one. In point one mile, turn left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one. Nope. Turn left. Oh, it is this one. It's just delayed on the map. Yeah, because the map has me way back there. I know where the landlord's house is. It's just sometimes I zone out on the way and forget to turn, so. Wow, you guys even turned. Oh, Lord. <laughs> In a half a mile, turn left. Here, we, I'm just going to say I call it a win if I stay in frame the whole time. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. Those people are getting new furniture. All right, so, nope, over the bridge. What's sad is I, whoops, oh man, I did not stay in frame that time. What's sad is that um, I wrote the check two days ago and I'm just now getting around to taking it out. But like I said, last week I was, I did not feel human at all. I felt gross. Um, and I mean, I was, no, it wasn't last week I filmed the last videos, was it? I don't think so. I don't think I filmed anything last week. I actually, I did. I felt this is a windy road so um i felt decent enough one day to cook dinner and i did record that so that'll be coming up but i don't think i recorded anything else last week now the sun is like really in the bad spot we're almost there so and then i gotta and then i gotta take out my checkbook take the check out arrived we made it i can't wait to ride together again soon thanks christina all right let me take my check up there i'll be right back guys apparently the car shut off so it uh turned you guys off um oh I gotta be real hold on if I I did pull over to be real <laughs> if you guys have be real I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to like link my be real with you guys I want to go this way I've never been this way that way goes back out to the main road to my house so let's go this way let's see where this goes um 
it's really hard to get lost in this area so don't worry uh, also like the seasons are changing one day it's like in the 50s the next day it's in the 70s and luckily this week is all 70s Pete I almost hit the name of the road um and honestly it is really messing with me let me show it went the other way Also, my acid reflux has been acting up real bad, and this school bus wants to run me over. Are you really turning? Yeah, you are. Oops. Um, so, what was I saying? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, so, um, I finally caved, started watching Yellowstone with my husband. Well, <clears throat> he's technically watching Yellowstone with me because I told him the only way I was going to watch it is if he watched it with me because he's already seen it and he's caught up to the current season. I don't think he's watched any of the current season. I could be wrong, but... <sighs> It's actually a good show. I loved 1883. And I know that's like a prequel. One of the prequels. To yep, the Yellowstone. Um, where am I at? Home Depot. Where the hell is the Home Depot? No, I need to go straight. I need to go straight. That's where the Coles is. Hey, how about that? So I know, I knew where the Home Depot was, but it took me a minute to register that Kohl's is right by the Home Depot. So come on, you gotta stop. All right. And if I remember correctly, this side is where I want to go. And then of course they're going to give me Kohl's cash. I'm going to have to walk around and see if there's anything like around five bucks because I hate to waste free money. And... <laughs> Uh, that's what I did last time. Bought a dog toy. Oh, wait. This door is... Okay, never mind. They still haven't fixed the glass. You think a company that makes as much money as Kohl's does. Well, actually, I heard that they're like JCPenney's and thinking about going exclusively online. So, we'll see. All right, I'm going to run in and return my shit. Okay. I'm going to cold or We're going to, yes, I know. I stopped because I seen the person. We're going to Publix. Now, ouch. I did buy stuff in there. They always get you with that Kohl's cash. But <clears throat> I got a couple dog toys that were on Christmas clearance. He's not going to know they're Christmas toys. So, and I got a placement thing to put my KitchenAid on. So it's easier for me to kind of move around on the counter. But I think it's heavy, a heavy enough placement that it won't move around on the counter. If that makes any sense to anyone. <sighs> oh, they had a 36 inch table runner. And I think it's the might be the perfect size for our current table. Um, and if it's not, I'll find some place for it. I'll get rid of some of my other table runners that I had. But all the other table runners they had, besides the 36 inch ones, were 72, which is why I think 36 inches is what I need for the smaller table. 
Um, what else? Oh, that's all I bought. And the only thing that was, actually nothing was regular price because even the placemat I got was on sale. And then of course, Kohl's cash. All right. We are leaving Publix. a knot in my hand it hurts so bad anyway <clears throat> um i i bought more than i went in, went in there for i originally came here for bread and then i said well i need bacon crumbles and shredded cheese for a recipe because i'm not gonna have enough bacon after i cook that crappy ass walmart bacon i bought so I bought <coughs> just that bacon crumble stuff you get in the salad dressing section. And, but I made sure I got the real pieces one. <laughs> um, and then I, I did get shredded cheese, but what else did I get? I got my baguette, shredded cheese, bacon crumbles. Um, I got like, oh, they had peanut butter cap and crunch. I've been looking for peanut butter cap and crunch anywhere. Are everywhere. And I've Publix had it. So I guess I should have. It's expensive as heck, but I've been craving peanut butter cap and crunch. So I got it. And let's see what else. I got some Kool Aid because I was almost out the Crystal Light stuff. I got three new drinks I'll show you when I get home um, to try. Well, I'm sorry, two new drinks to try and then a monster for tomorrow because I am out of monster and I'm dragging today, so tomorrow I figured I would treat myself to a monster. And then, what else was I going to say? Um, what time is it? Shoot. Hopefully Justin doesn't beat me home. Probably not. He hardly ever leaves on time, so... <clears throat> oh, this chicken salad chick place just opened up. Uh, I need to pull up their menu to see if it's just chicken salad or if they sell other things. Because one of the ads I saw online said to come try out their 27 flavors of chicken salad. And I am one of those people, I don't know if I could eat chicken salad made by someone else it's kind of like a tuna salad situation I won't eat tuna someone else made tuna is the only seafood and only canned tuna at that that I'll eat um, but I only if I buy the can of tuna well I don't have to buy the can of tuna I have to open it and make it myself I don't it's I just don't trust people to not like having it sit out or something like that because I did eat someone's tuna salad before and it got really sick from it and so since then I've not eaten tuna salad made by anyone else unless it was like my mom or dad because you know my bread is bending um It is 5.13. The sun is going down. I'm hot as Hades because I have the air on, but it's barely on. So. I ran out of stuff to talk about with you guys. 
I'm sure I'll think of something else if I turn the camera off, but I'm going to keep y'all on until I get home. And we'll just chit chat, right? I really wanted the Disney plate, but I don't know if they're going to have it next year because it was their 50th year edition or I don't, I don't know how many years they've been open. Yeah, 50 years, right? Anyway, it was their special edition plate. So I don't know if they're going to continue to have a Disney plate next year or whenever we have, whenever, uh, probably this year <laughs> when we're due for plates, it's fine. I'll just stick with a normal Florida plate and I won't be picky. In Indiana, I had the, uh, the adopt, don't shop animal plate because the proceeds went to um, funding animal shelters. So And Disney plate is just a true vanity plate. It, I don't think it does anything beneficial. I'd have to look it up. Oh, that's something I can tell you guys. We went to Office Depot yesterday. My husband says they didn't mark things up, but I feel like they did. And then the office chairs are only 25% off. They're closing the stores. I don't know if they're closing Office Depot in your area, but they're closing the Office Depot in our area. So much stuff though, and not just the office chairs, but there was a lot of things like printer paper and stuff like that. I feel like they marked it up and then took off the price because it was so expensive. Like I'm sitting there looking on Amazon and their 40% off price is what I can get it on Amazon anyway. So. I honestly think they marked it up thinking people were stupid and maybe some people are stupid who knows but <laughs> I don't know um, my husband made us an appointment <laughs> for to get our glasses so I know that was on my list of things to do but I did not do it I do still need to call the doctor and make an appointment I meant to do that today but I did not get to it and I need stupid thing I need to call around and get prices on people that come out and clean your pool um, we had to order more shock and chlorine yesterday because the 12 packs of shock we put in it I mean it helped it's not a swamp anymore it's like a light green color now so we need to continue to shock it we think so we don't know we don't, we have no idea what we're doing we've never had a chlorine pool before <clears throat> we've never had a pool before but like when we moved in there was no instruction from the landlord no nothing so we've just been trying to learn this on our own and it's to the point where um, we we need help. <laughs> we need help. We need someone to come in and at least show us how to keep it clean, how to keep it maintained. Um, if we can find someone that's cheap enough, we'll just have them come and take care of the pool for us. Um, but. I would get these damn sticks out of the road. I live on a main road, by the way, so, and I have to back in. I don't have to. It's just easier to back in. So, when I want to leave, I can do so. Alright. I feel like I'm on my husband's side of the driveway. 
I'm not a very good backer in her. Sometimes I can get it first shot and I think the candy canes throw me off because I don't want to hit them on my car. <coughs> and yeah, I we got to get the candy canes out of the yard. All right, so let me share these drinks real quick before I go inside. And actually, I'm going to try one. But I got this. It's a it's called Olipop. It is a classic root beer. It's got prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber. It's a sparkling tonic. So I'm going to try that probably with dinner tonight maybe. I love root beer. So I try all sorts of root beer. Now this is one I'm iffy about. It is, oh man. Let me turn you all back on. Uh, it is the Spindrift. I hate LaCroix. I've tried LaCroix. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So the Spindrift scares me, but I got it in grapefruit because that's my favorite ice sparkling water flavor. So I'm hoping it's as good as that. And this is the one we're going to try because if it's gross, I'm just going to throw it in the trash can on my way in. And that's what I did with the, the LaCroix I bought, except that was at Aldi's, but not Aldi's, Ikea. So it was disgusting. Hmm. It smells. No. Ugh. I don't get it. That ice water that I drink, it's ice sparkling water, but it's not in a can. It's in a bottle. It's. This is disgusting. Oh, it says it's unsweetened. That might be why, but I'm pretty sure the ice waters are unsweetened as well. This has carbonated water, grapefruit juice, orange juice, lemon juice, hibiscus for color. No sugar added. <clears throat> it's disgusting. I wasted $2.50 on this. And I'm hoping the root beer isn't gross because the root beer is smaller than this and costs just as much. That, oh. You know what, let's just, we're gonna try the root beer. We're gonna throw this away. And I don't know why I shook it. Now I gotta wait. Um, this is gluten free, vegan, no sugar. Oh God, no sugars added. That's scary. It's got 12 carbs, so it's gotta have some sweetener in it, right? And it's paleo friendly, apparently. Well, that's promising. It at least smells. Yeah, it smells like root beer, so that's promising. Scared. Oh, okay. You know what it tastes like? It doesn't taste like root beer. It tastes like the root beer barrels, like the candy, which <clears throat> is like artificial root beer flavor. I don't like it. It's not as bad as the Spindrift, oh my God. I think I'm done with the canned sparkling waters. I've tried, I was going to, I thought about trying, trying a bubbly, but no, after this one and a little croy, I think I'm done with sparkling water in the cans. If, okay, let me just say this. If you've had one in a can, that is actually good, that is not a Spindrift, that is not a LaCroix. I don't know how people think that is delicious. And the reason I've tried LaCroix and Spindrift is because people that I watch on YouTube say they are delicious. Those are disgusting, disgusting. And I don't know how anyone, th maybe you've got to like carbonated water by itself to like those. And I don't like carbonated water by itself. I don't know. 
I don't know I'm still drinking this. Like the aftertaste gives you a root beer flavor, like a root beer taste. But when you're first drinking it, nah. All right, I'm going in. I'm going to throw this stuff away. This is my monster. Now I'm thinking about opening that because I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, future Melissa here. <laughs> um, so I'm editing this and I just realized a lot of you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about when I say sparkling ice water. This is what I normally buy, the sparkling ice. And grapefruit's my favorite. Um, orange mango is probably fourth on my list now because I like it's grapefruit and then the second place would be the coconut pineapple one and then third place is black raspberry and then orange mango but yeah so those are what I'm talking about and they are also carbonated water um, it had it doesn't have any sugar in it like it's sugar free zero sugar it says so on the bottle <laughs> um but you know this does not taste like carbonated water and those other ones have no flavor to them they just taste like straight carbonated water and i hate plain carbonated water i don't know why i'm looking at the microphone instead of you guys whatever anyway so that's what I'm talking about and so I just wanted to jump on and say that and thank you guys so much for watching I know this was a long video but you know I wanted to test out the mount I have since returned to that mount and yeah so thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button comment down below subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye